Hey you guys, Green Eyed Guide here. So I wanted to talk to you about a very scary news story that's going around right now. There is a story that says that a man had part of his brain removed uh, as a result of his excessive consumption of energy drinks. So I just wanted to lay out three important facts about this story um, to help you kind of process the important aspects of the story and also to keep yourself and your loved ones safe if you are or know someone who does drink energy drinks. So the first thing is that we don't know how much caffeine he consumed on a daily basis and also on a weekly basis. That's very important because healthy adults can have up to 400 milligrams a day of caffeine and that doesn't matter whether it's caffeine from coffee or caffeine from an energy drink or caffeine from tea or caffeine from pills or any other source. 400 milligrams a day, 400 milligrams a day is what you get if you're a healthy adult. If you're under 18, then you get 100 milligrams a day. And again, that's 100 milligrams from all sources, dark chocolate, uh, excuse me, dark chocolate, soda, tea, energy drinks, coffee, etc. So we don't know how much caffeine this man had. If you are concerned about side effects from caffeine, the first thing is you need to look at how much caffeine you are consuming and where you're consuming it from. Include all the sources. Sometimes we don't include things like tea because it seems so healthy, but if you don't include caffeine from all sources, you may not realize how much caffeine you're you're consuming throughout the whole day. The second thing about the story is that none of the important details are confirmed, such as, like I said before, how much caffeine he consumed in a day or in a week. The second detail that's missing from the story is which brand he consumed. One of the energy drinks that I dislike the most is VPX Redline, and this is an energy drink which has been associated with brain hemorrhages in the past. There is an article about some of the hospitalizations that have occurred as a result of this particular energy drink, and I'll put that in the, uh, I'll put that link in the comments below, but we don't know if that was the energy drink this man had. The third thing that's missing from this story is the fact that not all energy drinks will have this result. So this is not something that you should think is normal by any means for energy drink consumers. Moderation is key. If you have a Red Bull every single day or multiple Red Bulls a day, obviously there's some long-term effects you need to be concerned about, not just because of the sugar, but also because of caffeine tolerance. Are you building up your caffeine tolerance by having an energy drink every single day? So the key takeaway here is that we need to remember that not all energy drinks are as scary dangerous as this article might have you believe. There are some energy drinks that are scary dangerous, but there are also energy drinks that are weak sauce and very healthy, very clean, very great alternatives for the stereotypical energy drink. I'm Green Eye Guide and this is what I do for a living. I study energy drinks and their ingredients. I've been doing this since 2003 when I first started my studies in biochemistry and food science. If you have a question about energy drinks and their ingredients, please contact me. I am more than happy to help answer your questions and help you navigate between the vast world of energy drinks, between the scary, dangerous ones and the clean, friendly, healthy ones. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, have a great day.